Hello there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I have got an exciting project for you today. I came into work and I was just fiddling around with the Glowforge. I've been printing 3D printed tops with my kids, I've got some sweet lessons, and I said all of a sudden, what if I made a cardboard top? Where I had two pieces that slid together and made a top that could spin out of cardboard, eventually creating a top out of other materials, but why not work on your fabrication with free cardboard before you get to the real stuff? And I'm gonna show you why Tinkercad may be the coolest place ever to design something like this. So, let's get cracking. My friends, the concept was simple. I wanted to use the parabola for the round tip, and I wanted to use this adorable little groove to slide them into each other. Now when you build with Tinkercad, I'll break this all apart so you can see what I did. I just dropped the pieces in and then I did not want the bevel of the entire shape. So I just brought a rectangle out so that when I grouped every single piece together, I got the flat profile that would be good for an SVG. This is kind of slick if you look at it from underneath, you can see what I was aiming for. Now my first test, I found that I could not slide it all the way through, so I'm gonna just ungroup and adjust. You can see here the parts I used were a simple triangle. I also used a cube. I stretched that cube out with these little black handles so I could just adjust it to whatever I wanted. I'm gonna use Control Z to get that back to where it was. And then as I stated a moment ago, this groove that I cut out, by switching from a solid to a hole, it did not go far enough. If I use these white handles, it stretches in every direction. If I just use that black handle, it stretches in one direction, which is what I want for my next iteration of this cool little top. I'm gonna take this new piece and I'm gonna group it again. Once again, explaining that I did that half a block underneath so that it had the exact half profile of the paraboloid. And then I'm gonna come back over to this one and I'm gonna ungroup it as well. And I want this to be shrunk down so that way when I cut that groove through, it goes as far as I expect as well. Click on my little part, there's that black handle. I'm stretching it back. And now when I group these pieces, they will be ready for sending to the Glowforge. These little bumps up here, they do not matter because when you export as an SVG, it just does that profile. So here's my SVG export. I've got a special folder called Keychains. First was cardboard top A and B. Now I'm gonna do B1 and A1. So I just simply click and rename, switch to the other part, and once again, Export just the selected part for cutting. This time I'm going to click that A and put a one after it as well. As I move to the Glowforge app, I'm going to delete the two pieces I just had and I'm going to explain why I think Tinkercad is amazing for playing with projects like this on the Glowforge. And it's because this little groove that I cut into my top I created it with a piece of Tinkercad material that was 3.5 millimeters thick, which is the same size as my cardboard. So what I'm saying is you can actually put cardboard size pieces in Tinkercad, so that way when you're trying to assemble crazy projects like this, uh, you're pretty sure that things are gonna line up and be snug. I've created a setting under my custom settings. 3, 250, 90, and four millimeters. That's because my cardboard is generally four millimeters thick. And I just need to upload the other part. Make sure I didn't grab the same one twice because when I talk and work, well, that opens up the opportunity for silly stuff. Apparently today I am living the dream though because there you can see that is the correct one. Set my settings. Let's send it to the Gold Forge. Need to dismiss the previous print. And let's go check for that lovely white button. 
time to press that lovely white button. Alrighty, friends, so let's move away our little tripod, which I just learned that if I don't cut in the back, my time lapses do not show up the way I want. But let's see how my design turned out. Piece A, piece B. They slide into each other quite well. I've got a nifty rounded tip-ish end. Uh, if this was made out of wood instead of cardboard, it'd probably be even slicker. Let's see if it spins. <laughs> the answer is no, but the design does work, so now I can take it to wood and see if maybe with wood I can start making real spinning tops. So my friends, this is why I think Tinkercad is super cool and fun to use with the Glowforge. Uh, free. You can get cardboard everywhere. Uh, you can let your kids experiment. They can try things. Tinkercad is fun, fast, and a great way to explore. So if you found this useful, please hammer that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.